is separate. Milk is separate. So mm. subscription is still on. So the, we treat it as two separate businesses, though it's under like the the one one major holding company. The the two companies are under that. Eka une masang because so we wanted to uh, so there were a few brands that we couldn't get without a retail spot. So. Um, so when you go to like the big dogs, like the Nikes and the Adidas's and like even New Balance, um, you go and say you're an online business, no matter how successful you are, no matter how much money you make, um, they want to know that it's a stable business. And like a lot of these, a lot of these salespeople, especially in Canada, um, are older. So they've been in the industry for like 30, 40 years and they're like probably 50, 60 year old guys. So they are they're slowly converting into like e-commerce. Then anything may have a the corona as a stores But they are they are they are more reluctant to open e-commerce only stores. So we we opened a few, you know, we we, we had accounts with Puma, we had accounts with brands like Sokeni, uh Bamazan. But uh, like if when you go for the big dogs, it helps to you know to seal the deal if you actually have a retail spot. So um then i then i decided we need to have a retail spot and then i was working so for the first say one and a half years i was working out of my house and i just i needed uh, any way i needed warehouse space as well so um so we opened up milk uh with you know we ship out of there and we have a retail store there it's, so it, it, it serves as a warehouse and as as a retail store so that's that's the main reason because in this economic climate otherwise mm. i wouldn't have gone for, for a retail store, but it's ekat mazang. I wanted to do it a little different rather than calling it foot something. Mm. Uh, I wanted to create like an experience, so that's why it's called milks. I don't know if you probably haven't seen pictures. It's a, a milk and cereal themed yeah, super yeah. store. So. That's why I posted the cereal and milk earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's 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 what it was, mazang. Whatever I do, I want to do it a little different than. Other people are like, I'm going to go to the milk kill them. I'm going to recommend them to the bapo, Melora, and I'm going to go to the sapato, and I'm like, idiot, I'm thinking like, you know, far, far beyond what you're thinking. <laughs> uh, so, because of that, I think we got a lot of good PR from like Toronto itself. Uh, right. The city, city of Toronto gave us a plaque saying, thank you for opening up like an experience store mm -hmm. and all that. The city councillors, Lava Balanda. We got a lot of good press. In the first year, we were we were named the uh, best new fashion store in Toronto. Uh, that's just because we decided to uh, gamble and you know do something a little different. <clears throat> yeah, with the e-commerce thing, with Amazon and everything, if they're coming up much the retail yeah. retail business, I mean retail stores are actually getting, you know going away but not 100 percent neither whatever yeah. will remain all yeah. the premier type sh shops where you get a experience will remain all the other things will go away right yeah exactly but whatever you're doing like if you're doing a retail store you can't just open a retail store, like you know you can't put a bunch of shelves put like shoes or clothes and open a retail store it has to be an experience it's like i i tell people all the time like whatever business you're doing it's like it's like making a movie. It's it's basically storytelling. Whatever you're doing, like what you're doing, what you're doing right now is storytelling. Everybody yeah. is storytelling. Even if it's the podcast, if it's a TV program, whatever whatever business in life you do, whatever you decide to do, you have to convey that story to your customer. It's basically you tell you you telling a story to your customer. So without that like middle portion, like no matter how you know, no matter how good the story is, how good the products you carry. It doesn't translate. Yeah. <laughs> it's at first it's like okay, That's how we like you know. That's how normally you think, right? But it, that, right. that's not it. Like a business, I think a businessman and an entrepreneur are two two different things. Entrepreneurs most of the time uh, either they want to make a change or a difference in the world, or they like to do what they like and earn money and be happy. Right. That's my, uh, you know, my uh, <laughs> explanation of an entrepreneur. Right, right, right. I I agree with that. So uh, one thing I saw when uh, when going through your profile and stuff is that 
you you participated in the program the dragons dragons then which is the yeah. uh, the original shark tank right that's correct. original shark tank correct correct <laughs> uh, budget can you tell me a little bit about that going on the uh, uh, dragons then yeah so i went on in uh, 2017 oh then 3 years damo 3 years oh <laughs> uh, 2017 2017 So they actually, when I when I first started sneak it up, they reached out to me first within right. like a few months of opening because abhi business ka patanga tak mamada we got some good press because nothing like this existed right, right. so they, uh, they they were like okay this guy from Toronto is trying to do this thing whatever so they reached out to me and said uh, come on the show I said no because we we weren't doing well uh, not doing well they may abhi we weren't a proper company then it was just me shipping shit out of my house right. so i'm i'm like this is not a business yet so i don't want to go and you know get embarrassed in front of front of like whole of canada mm. so i'm like let me let me let me stabilize this business a little bit more and then i told the producer like i i i was honest i said we are not a proper business right now but give me one year i'll i'll i'll, uh, I'll come back to you here um and then uh, in 2016 i think yeah 2016 by Man, 2017 about March. I think they shot in May and uh, broadcasted in November. But by about March, tamay may may patanga the auditions and all the stuff. So I applied. Uh, the business was doing well at that time, mm. uh, and I I had an idea of what I was doing because mulati ke you know you're scrambling and you really don't know what you're doing, right? So I had I had figured out my business. I knew the numbers well, and I was comfortable about talking about my business because by that time I've I've pitched like Puma and all these guys like hundred hundreds of times to like get an account. So I I knew the business inside out. Um, so I reached out to them and said, uh, reach out to them. Ne, mang nikang apply. Normally apply kara apply kana vidhira. So it goes through like a producer process. You go and uh, pitch to the producers. Ita pa si producers la choose karna ho the dinet dakiela. uh it uh, about then what they do is they put you in front of the dragons and they you know record the show but we record karne evening madan siyak vitara tama broadcast wende but they shoot about 500 600 episode like oh. individual things but they 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 choose the best for broadcast like um mm-hmm. i think it wasn't like it was i, I think um for me that was probably the hi- highlight of like my career because that's probably the biggest stage or like the nas- like national tv spot that i've i've ever been on in canada mm. um, and mate hemai think mama e wata nervous na amazon because like as long as you for me as long as i know my business and but but i did my research and you know i i did i did my homework before i went in there seasons 12 hak tibba seasons 12 ha ma 11 hak tibba i watched all 11 um, seasons i prepared for every kind of question Mm. Uh, I watched Shark Tank. Uh, Ekad Belua, uh, British Dragons Den Belua, Okom Belua. Mera balanda thi na Okom Belua. Balla that was my, you know, that was my study, and that's why I, yeah, like you'll see me on the episode. I'm not like stressed out or I'm not sweating mm. like by a villain. And what what you see is a seven minute cut that that pitch actually went on for an hour and a half. Right. Me, I think okay. I I knew mm. my business inside out, so I I wasn't nervous or anything. But, but you you know like before you walk down those steps, you have like butterflies in your tummy. But like I think pretty much within like the first five minutes, like I was on. My joke kya dega dala dalna? You know, Karli vera la Sri Lankan charm me ka dala khatiyo alag. But the okay with the the they, what they proposed was not really a big deal, did it? So, so this is what happened, Mazza. Ek, ek, where did he end? So, whatever they propose on air is not the actual deal. And okay. D- because I did my research, I knew that. So, I always knew whatever deal I get on TV is the deal I need to like. You know, I need to look good on TV to get the deal because that's the PR pro- portion. That is the portion that I'm going to cut and you know send people ads and all that, all that stuff. Right. Right. Um, I think. ඒක ගොඩක් ඔය ඩීල් එක මං ආගියු කරලා කතා කරන්න ගිහිල්ලා වල බැක් එන්ඩ් and ඒගොල්ලෝ එඩිට් එකේ දැම්මේ මචං the wrong deal because the actual deal we got was 100,000 for 40% not 50,000 for 40% oh. edit කරන එකක කොහොම හරි වරද්දලා 50,000 එකෙන් cut කරලා ඒක because ඒකට ඩීල් එක හම්බෙන්න ඇඳයි අර ප්‍රොපෝස් කරන තැනයි මැද වෙන කැල්ලක් තියෙනවා somehow that has got cut out so that was in the original deal even oh. 100,000 for 40% was not and and i we didn't need money මචං when we went on I went for PR and it's a prime time spot. Oh. 
for free. So that's why we went. Uh, to be honest with you, um, but we, if it was a good deal, we were going to do the deal. Um, but so so because I knew that uh, I'm like mango goda kagyu karande and na let's just look good on TV and I'll figure it out later with them. Kela because I know there's like a year of going back and forth uh, before they close the deal. So I knew that. Kali. Uh, anyway, it didn't work out because it wasn't the right deal for us or for them. Anyway, when people go on the show, only about 2% of the deals actually go through in real life. Right, right, right. When the deals go down, they don't have to say anything. When the deals go down, they don't have to say anything. They don't have to say anything. They don't have to say anything. And it, it, it worked out well for everyone because we didn't need money at that time. Oh. And um, we got enough exposure to, you know, stabilize the business for the next two, three years. Uh, oh. But it's not exposure. Can Shark Tank get exposure? Can I Lanka people found out who I was uh, 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 through this clip that went viral, million Mukhadagana Gia on Facebook. So people in Sri Lanka kind of found out who I was and what I was doing and all that. Only, uh, so, you know, it, it's not like mass, mass, it's very, you know, a selected audience, people who are, you know, interested in marketing, entrepreneurship and all that. Mm. 